Hey, yo, what's going on, you guys? Tucker here with another video. Today, we are showcasing what I think is the best Cassandra Nova list made by KM Best, featured on Snap Judgment's video yesterday. I'm going to have to show some gameplay from stream from yesterday. An absolutely great time. It feels really easy and simple to just pilot through. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. So starting off, first and foremost, we are using Cassandra Nova in this list. Cassandra Nova steals one power from each card in your opponent's deck, which synergizes really well with Darkhawk. You're adding rocks into your opponent's deck, which allows you to have extra Cassandra Nova value if you use her on curb after a Korg on turn one. That's one extra power you can get if you use her on turn four after a Korg on turn one and a rock slide on turn three. You get an extra three power in Cassandra Nova. And there's just a lot of great synergy between the two the Ravona value as well. Um, it's, of course, not the most easy card to obtain right now, um, but using this against Arishims really well, using this early on curve, even without the Rocks interaction, is really solid too. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right into the deck. So here is the list over here. We're not even relying on Ravona in this. Um, with this right here, of course, you have your Darkhawk line. You have some extra energy you can get from playing cards onto Hope Summers. You're bouncing cards with... Uh, Kitty Pride, and you have cards to move off of Hope Summers with Nocturne and Jeff. Um, and you're usually using Thena to be able to go up in one lane and Darkhawk to go up in another. And then you have Angela as also another win con. Even though Angela only gets plus one right now, she can still get pretty tall. Um, so your opponent has to focus on three lanes in that sense or overcommit into one lane. Um, but let's go ahead and jump down and look at each card individually. All right, starting out first, we have Kitty Pride over here. So you're doing a lot of playing onto your Hope Summers, playing onto your Angela, playing two cards at the same time to get your Athena value. So you have Kitty Pride in this list to be able to maximize that sort of scenario. Um, Kitty Pride also can get you some actually kind of stupid good value. Um, of course, you are playing her out every turn if you have Kitty Pride or you're using other cards after you've set up your combos. But you're playing this onto your Hope Summers lane. You're playing this onto an Angela. You're playing this to be able to get your Athena buffed up. Um, and Kitty Pride just universally just solid right now. If you play a bunch of cards onto your Athena lane also on like turn five, you can play, of course, like I said, you have extra energy, more cards onto your turn six. Maybe not even worrying about your Athena because you don't want your Athena to be in Shang-Chi range. Um, so that's that's one of the main conditions I was using with this list as well. Um, just an overall very solid card. And then, of course, we are playing a Dark Hawk list, so we do have Korg in here as well. Korg's going to be pumping another rock into your opponent's deck, which um, limits their draw shuffles, their um, current draws and everything, too. Um, some Cassandra Nova value as well. So Korg you're using in here, of course, because it's, it's a Dark Hawk list, guys. So you're using Korg in here for that. And then you have Thena. So Thena gets plus three power if you play two cards exactly on this turn. So it's a condition you have to meet every single time to get the extra value for Thena, um, which is overall still really solid. Um, she can get pretty vertical in a lane by herself, or you put her with some other cards to kind of just combo. If you don't have Thena, I would suggest maybe a White Widow or potentially a Shadow King just as another solid two drop in that slot. Um, next, we have Angela. Angela gets only plus one when you play a card in her lane, but it's good with Hope Summers. It's good with Kitty Pride. You use this on an alternate lane, then Athena, so you can have another card that goes a little bit vertical as well. It won't go as vertical as Athena, but the conditions with this one are just to play a card in this location, which you're doing a lot anyways with the Hope Summers. Uh, next, we have Jeff. You can move this once, and you can play it into pretty much any location. Um, so Jeff is absolutely fantastic. Um, another card you can play onto your Angela or play onto a Hope Summers and move off later on in the game so it's not taking up that board space anymore for you if you don't have jeff i would maybe do something like a nightcrawler it won't work exactly the same but it's another movement card for you um and then we have cassandra nova which is the focal card of the day which is steal one power of course from each card in your opponent's deck you use this with your rocks you use this on curve um if you use it against erishim it gets absolutely massive with the rocks it gives you those extra power as well so they have negative powered rocks also in their deck which is a really solid overall. Um, and if you don't have Cassandra, I would maybe go with a different three drop, like a techie, like Red Guardian kind of situation. Make this more of a tech list if you don't have a majority of these cards, I would say. You're not going to get the same exact value because you're stealing power and gaining power with Cassandra Nova, but that would be the switch I would think of. Um, next, you have Rock Slide because you are throwing rocks into your opponent's deck to make sure your Dark Hawk gets bigger. So thus, you have Rock Slide in here to shuffle two rocks. Um, into your opponent's deck, which also does shuffle what they would be drawing originally, um, which is just absolutely fantastic in this game, of course, with how cards are and everything, too. Rock Slide, of course, has tremendous value and just works super well with Darkhawk. Um, and then we have Hope Summers. What's the cool thing about Hope Summers is Hope Summers is going to be in spotlights this next week. Um, after you play a card here, you get plus one energy on your next turn. Um, so with Hope Summers here, you are playing your cards 
potentially even movement cards onto your Hope Summers, moving them off of Hope Summers, um, and enabling yourself to be able to have some some extra cards uh, to play with because you'll have extra energy to play with. Uh, maybe get a Dark Hawk out earlier or get Dark Hawk and some other cards out at the same time. If you play two cards on Hope Summers on turn five, you get eight energy going into turn six. So you can play Dark Hawk and a three drop here. You can play your Dark Hawk, Dark Hawk and your Copycat, which Copycat is the brand new Series 5 card that came out this week. When you draw this, you steal the text of the bottom card of your opponent's deck. If you are using your rocks, like your Rock Slide, your Korg and stuff, you could be shuffling that bottom text card um, into a different area in their deck so they draw a dead card with no text, which is also really tremendous. Um, and the 3-5 stat line is just so good. Um, so Copycat is a tremendous card. Um, and if you don't have Copycat, I would do maybe another 3 cost, like I was saying. Maybe do like a Cosmo, or maybe you do like something at 3-5, like a Polaris, or just something with good power. Nothing does the same thing as Copycat, really. I mean, Morph copies the card in your opponent's, deck, in your opponent's hand, um, but it doesn't give you the exact same value as you do get with Copycat. And then you have Nocturne here. You can move this once turn, uh, once, and it changes the location of a card. Another great three five here, um, and it just it just feels super solid. People are using this more than Jeff now because there's no Professor X, and you can just move cards into any location. Um, but Nocturne is definitely a good fit um, in this list, and it just feels super solid to be able to play this out either later or shut off a lot of these locations that are limiting either you or giving your opponents a bo uh, boost. Um, and then of course we have Shang Chi. So there's a lot of huge cards running around. Erishim still prevalent. We're still seeing a lot of Darkhawk and stuff too. Um, Shang-Chi kills anything that has 10 or more power. Just absolutely incredible. A good card in this list. And it just works really well. Also, if you don't have Nocturne and Copycat, maybe you do a Mystique for the Darkhawk because Darkhawk is an ongoing. Plus two power for each card in your opponent's deck. You have Rocks. You have some Cassandra value. Um, you could also even use Black Widow in this list too to kind of help with your Dark Darkhawk stuff instead of Mystique because there's only one ongoing card in this list. So Mystique would only get the value from one. But that's going to be the general summary of the cards we have in this list. There's not really a substitute for Darkhawk, so I apologize in advance for that. Um, but we're going to jump in some gameplay from stream. If you guys do enjoy the gameplay, definitely feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Um, and then also, check out the stream. We're going to be stream pretty much every single night around 9, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. That will be down in the description below. And then KM Best will be down in the description below as well. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Freaking Athena is awesome. Love me some Athena. All right, copycat. We're we getting broods. Hmm. I like that. I like that a lot, a lot. -a. Um. Let's do. We got freaking super flowing stuff too. Um. This is interesting. I do this and then this, and then we, we do some stuff. Is the best young adult series Harry Potter who? Really? You like Percy Jackson more than Harry Potter? Wow. That's a freaking spicy take, man. That is a spicy take. Um. Said you're doing your bonus rival. You got your bonus rivals key? Nice. Let's freaking go, Troy. Killing it, as always, bro. As always. Uh, what are they about to hit me with, though? Is our, is our question, right? Harry Potter's great. D that's a good, actually a good starting point, though. You guys like Harry Potter or Percy Jackson more? I know it's kind of apples to oranges, but also, like, not really at the same time. Um, what, is, what is your guys' go-to? Guys, go-to. Um, we have six energy... If I do this, I mean, I don't really care about extra energy here, to be fair. I mean, do I actually care about extra energy? Uh, I mean, it's just Dark Hawk things, right? That should be good. Should be shitty good. Um, and I hit rank it in another game. Nice. Okay, try. Freaking going crazy. Still trying for an infinite about open airship and Venomized Thanos. Nice! Venomized Thanos from a PMV is really good too. I think we're actually at a really good spot here. I mean, the Athena value is not going to be bad, like in insane, but I like what we're messing with here. Hope Summers into Skillmonger. Okay. 
still not really upset about that, really. They're kind of stuck there. I have rock slide copycat things. I go... If I go rock slide copycat right... I get 15 power over here on the right. If it's Surfer Absorbing Man, which it probably is. Surfer brings these up 6 plus 8. So it's 25. 25 plus another 8 is... Um, 25 plus 8 is 33. We're adding another 7. No, we're adding another... What? Yeah, another 7 plus 3 is 10 we lose by one in the tie break maybe they don't have it maybe they don't have it oh they have it i lied they totally have it Oh, but it's Thena Diff. But it's Thena Diff! Sheesh! Okay. Copycat hitting the Broodlings, getting five power Broodlings is so, so good, bro. That'll be good, but not a lot of people are playing Arishim at the moment. Uh, but yeah, Thena, that's just Thena freaking carrying the game. Um, Honestly, some pretty solid hits here overall. The best tip for a beginner, hey, man, Logan, cool. um, would be retreating when you don't have your win condition and your opponent snaps or snapping when you do have your win condition and your opponent doesn't like just like finding the line between the two of those and you don't have to play every single game like if you're losing and your opponent snaps you don't have to stay in that game you don't have to stay in that game I lose angela that's not great they use a rock okay Let's see, Bifrost, I get some copycat stuff. Two fists into that, that should be pretty good. Copycat value is actually gonna be really awesome. So I'm here for this. Cosmo, okay. Um, let's see. Let's do this. She copied a collector. She copied the collector. So, really good spot for us here. Yeah, of course. Yo, I appreciate you, Logan. Moon girl things. Okay, I think it's gonna be like a devil dino kind of stuff here. We win the right lane, so I don't have to really worry about other stuff here, which is good. But, yo, empty Ellie! My bub balance right now, I think I'm at like eight mil or something. Something, it's, it's a little crazy. It is a little crazy. Um, this seems really good. They snap me back. I keep playing like this. I don't have to worry about the right lane at all. Let me do, actually, let me play office a little bit. Let me do Cassandra. Cassandra's gonna get to five power. I do this. Um, this go keeps going up, going up. Cassandra stuff. They devil dino me, okay. And then it is a Shang-Chi and Kitty Pride here. And I can move Nocturne left because this is gonna go up. Yep, and that's four cubes. The variant looks freaking awesome. Really, really sick. Um, let's see. Let's do Thena and then get some other stuff over here. You can share it here without the code. Sweet. That sounds good to me. Um, We are going to go Jeffrey Korg 
and get some great value here. So I like this. I like our starting point. Got some rocks for them. What do I get? Copycat? Copycat because we drew copycat organically did not swap with anything. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'm going to go Korg again. Anti Cassandra to get some extra value there. So I like I like that. More rocks for Cassandra things. Nebula, White Widow, Jeff, Storm, Juggernaut, Nocturne, Blink, Supergiant, Claw, Alive. Oh, those are a bunch of different mix ups. Okay. That is spicy, Koi. That is spicy. Oh, also the super giant there is actually for Cassandra value. Um, what do I get? Bro, Darkhawk things? Darkhawk things sound pretty good to me. And then I have Rock Slide and Nocturne here. Um, Cassandra is an on reveal. Steal one power from each card in your opponent's deck. Each card in your opponent's deck. I'm adding eight plus three is 11 plus two is 13. I like this. I like this. I mean, they don't move Jeff probably, or maybe they do. They, oh, they don't move Jeff. Okay. Interesting. And a kitty. Nocturne with our Jeff allows us to win there. Shang-Chi middle into Kitty, really. That was bold. Really, really bold on that part. Let me see what we can do over here. We got Hot Fudge. We got Erishim. Erishim things. Yo, what's up, Buck? How you doing, brother? Welcome in. Welcome in. Mm-mm-mm. Um, let me see. I'm thinking high underneath Super Giant if I have my big bads. Is that my Cassandra? That's probably my Cassandra. That would make a lot of sense. Absorber Man, Cassandra. Or it's their Cassandra. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Things aren't going good in comp. Hey, Uh-oh. Cool. Uh-oh. We going good. How you doing, Toronto? Good to see you, my friend. Super Giant, Jessica Jones. Um, let's do this. Into Darkhawk, right? Darkhawk, right, feels pretty good. Especially into this matchup right here as well. Also, Justin, thank you so much for the music plays, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, my friend. Copycat hits Erishim. Inked Erishim, by the way. Yeah. We, t oh, we took priority? Honestly, not what we wanted, Chief. Not what we wanted, Chief. I pet... <laughs> I pet a frog sap, people. That's a cool name. A little flex for you. Got you. All right, this should be good. I have a... What? Huh? You're facing... Yes, I'm facing real people. Real people here on ladder. They are... And this person is... Top 500... Or... Top 1k. I lose to what? Like a blob left kind of thing? I think we lose to blob left. Are we lose to blob right? Blob right also is pretty big.
Gambit. It's one Dark Hawk. It's my Thena. And then just hit a Dark Hawk. Cool. That works for me. Rogue. Oh, sweet. We played that right, I believe. That's a Shang-Chi. That's a Domino. And a Coulson. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Victory. So, even if they had hit Rogue on me, I still win the right lane because Rogue does copies after the on reveal ability on Bar Sinister. So, we were in a good spot. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you guys, once again, could just like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Until the next time, check out Father Newman live on Twitch today. His video will be dropping tomorrow as well as King of Canada's video and stream tomorrow as well. Until the next time, my friends, Tucker out.